Well, before the family cook prepares that special Memorial Day menu, consider this. Cookbook Arthur Brian Tice is introducing us to his very own onion dip. He joins us this morning with a recipe. And your famous dish is known as the line forms right here, onion dip. Tell us more about it. That, that is correct. Welcome to my patio party. I uh, was trying to uh, host you guys out at the beach, but my Wi-Fi wasn't working. So I decorated here a little bit. Hopefully it, it looks makes great. you feel like you're at the beach. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So onion dip is an American classic. Uh, it is something that you can make many different ways. I like to be as simple and straightforward as possible. And my key, key ingredient, that is my secret uh, Weapon are scallions, spring onions, etc. Okay. Uh, they are great uh, without having to caramelize them for 30 minutes, like some recipes call for. Right. That never has quite turned me on. Plus, it kind of looks brown. So uh, it, it's still it's a delicious recipe that I I love. Um, I can tell you more about what's in it. Yeah, take uh, us through it. Uh, yeah, we got sour cream, mayo, which okay. is a key ingredient as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, instant diced or dried minced onion. That will help remind you of the old days of the Lipton onion soup, actually. That's why I included that in there. It, it makes it sound and seem familiar taste-wise, uh, even though I insist on other fresh ingredients. Then you've got onion powder, garlic powder. You don't want to overdo the garlic powder because it might be your first date and you know, you've got to be <laughs> careful. And uh, you've got salt, a little bit of salt. Don't overdo that either. Okay. Then dried, par dried parsley if you must, otherwise fresh parsley. And let me show you something that inspired you to do that. Okay. I don't know if you've ever uh, cleaned parsley this way before, but all you do is hang on to it and give it some swipes with your fork. Oh, nice. And okay. all, you, you got leaves and okay. this part, goodbye. So you're ready to get to chopping uh, with your parsley. It's a great idea. Uh, then, as I said, the smaller, a uh, couple of smaller scallions or, uh, you know, fewer, bigger ones. And then you need to slice them up, uh, the white and the green parts. Save some of the green for garnish. I'll show you in just a second the way the whole thing turns out. Okay. In my vintage chip and dip. Uh, <laughs> and that's a couple of dashes of hot sauce, crystal or uh, uh, Louisiana, whatever you guys uh are in the mood for down there in Louisiana. That's so right. I, I know you're in, New, you're in New York right now, but I'll you do have a residence in New Orleans, so you, you know you got to have I the hot do. sauce. I do. I do, and I'll see y'all in about two weeks. Um, so here's the final product Ooh. in my vintage chip and dip. All right. Nice. So you can see how it's important to have the garnish on top. Uh, and then I prefer chips with ridges. I'll just say that without calling out the name sure. of the brand. And, okay. uh, you know, it really does make a difference. This is a quick dip to come together. Make sure you refrigerate it for a couple of hours so the dehydrated onions can rehydrate and the rest of the flavors can find themselves, as my mother-in-law in New Orleans used to say. I love and, the presentation. Uh, we only have about a minute, though, and I know you have a cocktail for me, too. I do. Um, this is the classic Negroni, Italian uh, Negroni, which goes mm. beautifully with the onion dip. Okay. Why, I don't know. Uh, it, it is about 102 years old, this recipe. Wow. Uh, 1919, a guy from America who was in the circus went to a bar in Florence and said, okay, I want you to swap the club soda for the for gin because I'm sort of a lush and I really want uh, more <laughs> booze in it. Nice. And so it uh, is Campari, which is uh, the bitters. Then you've got a vermouth and a gin instead of a club soda. Put them all together and you've got the classic Negroni. So um, I've already mixed it. It's a third, a third, a third. Couldn't be easier. Okay. In it goes. Pretty too. Uh, I mean, it's not chilling yet, but I'll go ahead and have a sip. I know that you're going to appreciate my sacrifice this morning drinking I'm doing here. It's always five o'clock here, mm. absolutely. And it is delicious. It really is. But take them slow or they will hit you like a freaking freight train. Like a hurricane? So that's my warning. <laughs> yes, that's my warning to you. Oh, my God. Woo, that just wakes you up. So All right. thank you so much for coming to my patio party. Thank you for I having appreciate us. appreciate it. Showing you everything today, you guys. We appreciate Thanks. it. We'll see you soon. And guys, you can purchase Brian's cookbook, <laughs> The Infinite Feast, on his website, theinfinitefeast.com. We'll have a link to that on our website, wwltv.com.